Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new release preview video. It is finally here, release day for 2023 Tops. We've got a Series 1 Jumbo and also a Series 1 Hobby. We're going to rip them both in this video so that you can decide which one is better. And we're also going to talk a little bit about retail as well. I opened eight hanger boxes last night. We can see how that stacks up against these two products. So maybe you can get an idea if you should go for the hobby, you should go for the jumbo, or maybe hold out for retail when that shows up in stores probably this weekend. So we're going to start things off with the jumbo box, and we have a giant break tonight. We will be live for maybe eight hours. We're going to just be ripping case after case after case of 2023 Top Series 1 Jumbos and Hobbies. There are still some spots available. If you'd like to grab some spots, check us out on Patreon. The whole list is there if you'd like to buy in. And if you'd like to become a Patreon member, there's a list or a link in the description for you to sign up. So let's start with this one right here. As always, the Jumbo Boxes have three hits in them, one autograph and two relic cards. One of those will be a manufactured relic. You can see that J-Rod is the cover boy of the 2023 Top Series 1. Last year, it was Shohei Otani getting the call. And we'll give you a quick little look around the box. These boxes have gone up in value the past few days. Currently, I'm seeing them around 170-ish per box. And who knows, they could continue to go up, especially if... Uh, these boxes end up being the, you know, collector's choice, so to speak, the best option out there. So let's go ahead and start things off. Ricky is going to have this first jumbo. This entire box is going to be hers. So good luck, Ricky. Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody, on this Wednesday morning. I'm actually filming this Tuesday, but... I decided to hold off and just release it on Wednesday morning for release day. Now, inside each jumbo box, you are going to get an oversized box topper, which is always cool. You can see Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And the design on this, if you don't recognize it, this is like a 1986 Topps Mini League Leaders card. Remember those little cards we used to call them? The Mini Leaders? That is pretty awesome right there. Um, I haven't opened these these cards for a long time. There's the back. I'll tell you what, my one of my favorite cards ever was 1989 Topps Mini Leaders, where they were a quarter pack, and that was actually affordable for a nine-year-old kid. Used to be able to see the back card through the wrapper and try to find, for me, it was the Andy Van Slyke. I think these are really, really cool. Very nostalgic, awesome little box topper there. As always, you have the silver packs as well. You'll get two silver packs in each jumbo box along with one silver pack in a hobby box. We'll talk about hobby second, but first, we've got the Jumbos. All right, so we got to, before we do anything, talk about the set, look at the cards. We need to talk about the print runs and the odds. So I went back and I watched 2022 Series 1's new release preview video that I did. I wrote down some of the pack odds. We're going to compare them to this. Last year, you might remember, people were complaining, man, they really printed this set to the moon, talking about last year's Series 1. Now, this year, the odds are way, way better. Take a look at this. The gold odds this year are 1 in 4. Last year, they were 1 in 12. So, three times better chance of finding a gold. Next up, we've got the, you can see the rainbow foil, the green rainbow foils. I call them the green ICs, 1 in 14. Guess what they were last year? 1 in 47. The orange rainbow foils are 1 in 22. Last year, 1 in 79. Vintage stock, I wrote that one down too. Let's see if we can find that one. Last year, vintage stock was 1 in every 241 packs. This year, it's 1 in every 70 and Father's Day was last year. It was 1 in 463 for a Father's or Mother's Day this year. It's 1 in 134. So what we're seeing here, at least, they have, I don't know how many base cards they printed. I'm not smart enough to figure all that stuff out. But they have loaded the jumbos with the hits. All the numbered cards, all the good stuff, it seems like, has they've taken a lot of that out of retail and they've dumped it in here. Now, we looked at the retail odds earlier in the... Um, New release preview video for a gold with the hanger boxes. It's one in 15. And I think last year it was, what was it, like three times less, um, three times easier to pull a gold out of a hanger box. So it seems like this is the way to go, folks. They are loaded, the jumbo packs, from what we could tell from the odds. So let's go ahead and get into it. There are 330 cards in the base set. You've already seen us, uh, hopefully if you're subscribed, you already saw us go through this base design last night when I did the hanger boxes. 
And I love this design. I would give this an easy 10 out of 10. I think it's a great, I just, I love it. it. Like I said yesterday, I love the little photo in the corner. It kind of harkens back to 63, 83, 2003. Every 20 years, they bring that design back and put the portrait in the bottom left corner. And uh, I, just, I think it's great. I just love this design. There's Marcus Stroman right there. We've got Albert Pujols' final ever Topps card, Cade Cavalli. And now, as always, with the Jumbo Packs, we get to the good stuff. The good stuff is always in the middle. And there we go. We have an icy orange. It is going to be Shohei Otani. And it is number 299, number two out of 299. So much more easy to pull great stuff from Jumbos now than ever before, it seems like, at least within the past few years. There's Jose Abreu. The 88 Tops design is back. Um, I love that design, even though it's very simplistic. And some people would call the 88 Tops design the worst of the 80s. Uh, it would be a contender for that. I, I really like it. I think it's simple. It's nice. And it's something different from 87. I feel like 87 was it's, it's a great design. I would probably rank 87 Tops as one of the all-time greatest designs. But... Just a little tired of it and ready for something new. And I'm sure a lot of you are as well. There's Acuna Jr. right there. Blake Snell, Lennon Sosa. There's 56 rookie cards in this set. And there's some big names. Here's the back of the card. If this is the first time you've ever seen 2023 Tops, it is just a basic type back. And uh, you got to keep an eye out. Hopefully, we might find one here. They've short printed every single base card. They're called the Golden Mirror Image Variations, and those will have a gold back right here. That uh, blue font or that blue, those blue blocks, blue boxes would be in gold and say SSP. You won't be able to miss them. I'm not sure if they're going to be in the middle of the pack upside down or not, as this is my first time opening any 2023 Jumbos. There's the number one card of the set right there, Juan Soto getting the call this year, despite his down year. You can see... Uh, I guess they, they did him a favor and broke his stats apart so they don't look all that bad. But 246 and 236 to the, the batting averages there. Hopefully he can recover because, man, there's a lot of people that have invested heavily in Juan Soto rookie cards. There's Cal Mitchell for the Pirates. Nice to see a Pirates rookie card. I don't know if Cal Mitchell is going to be around too long. Now here we go with the middle. This is where the good stuff is. We've got something upside down. It is a rainbow foil of Jonna Bride. And back again this year, it's the pick a game, the home run challenge, where you just go and scratch that off, go to that website, pick a game where he's going to hit a home run, Freddie Freeman or any player featured on your card, and you will win a free uh, special edition card. Riley Green, I think this 22 greatest hits is a really nice insert. Riley Green, by the way, has a rookie card in the set. That's a nice one right there. Riley Green was always a big name on the prospect li list coming up. Nolan Gorman as well is another top, probably top five rookie in this. This is a deep rookie class. I've mentioned this before. I'll mention it again. I can't decide who the best rookie in this set is. I, I have to really think hard about it. I kind of lean toward Adley Rushman. There's Adley Rushman. There's Michael Harris, who won the Rookie of the Year in the National League. And there's also Gunnar Henderson, who's number one overall on the MLB pipeline list. So, I mean, take your pick. Three top-notch rookies to lead this class. And that's not all. You have Nolan Gorman in there, which you just saw. You got Brett Beatty in there. There is a ton of decent rookies. Very deep class. Unlike like 2021 was kind of rough. That was a really shallow class. Some of those guys have really taken off. I remember Joe Adele was number one for a while, and Key Brian Hayes was one for a while, and Alex Kirloff was a good one. No one's really taken off from 2021. 2022, of course, we have J-Rod leading the way. Bobby Witt Jr., another great one. Torkelson has been a disappointment. Wander Franco, a disappointment because of injuries. But uh, this year's class has the potential to be amazing. All right, so as we continue on, 46 cards again this year in the Jumbo Packs, as you've probably seen on the wrapper. We have Adam Wainwright. That is going to be a gold foil. Remember, the gold, gold foil cards aren't numbered. And we have a gold card. So there's the difference between a gold and gold foil. You just saw it. This one will be numbered out of 2023. There's the back of the card. And again, one in every four packs will have a gold, which is pretty nice. 30-30, welcome to the club, Mike Trout. Juan Soto's 88 tops card. Man, I don't know. I just feel like ripping open some 88 tops all of a sudden, which is, you know, some of you are like, what is wrong with you? Why would you want to open that? I don't know. It's just I haven't opened any 88 tops in a while, and seeing this brings back memories of opening – a lot of wax boxes of 88 tops. Now, I always open them a couple years later down the road because I didn't start collecting until 89. 
but uh, you used to be able to buy boxes of 88 tops for five bucks. You can't do that anymore. You can still get them for relatively cheap. You might be able to find them if you're lucky. Usually the cheapest I see them nowadays is maybe 15. There's really nothing in there you can find worth much. Tom Glavin rookie card is the number one card, but even raw, that's maybe a dollar card. There's Emmanuel Class A, one of the best closers in the game. We're going to rip those silver packs as well here in just one minute. And then we've got an entire box of hobby to do as well. Figured we'd just give it all to you in one video because why not? There's Wander Franco's future star card. And hopefully he will be a future star for everyone that has invested heavily in him. Hopefully he can bounce back this year. Tommy Pham with the Red Sox. And we're getting to the good stuff. I love, I love jumbo packs, folks. You know that. If you've been around this channel for the past five six seven years we just celebrated celebrated our channel's birthday the other day seven years february i think what was it february 6th or 7th so if you've been around for a while you know i love jumbo that's the way to go and we've got eric fetty right here look at this vaughn grissom rookie gold rookie card grissom started off so great last year finished up the season still hitting 291 and big part of the reason why the Braves said goodbye to Dansby Swanson. And here's our autograph. It's Late Night Lamont. At least that's his nickname. That's what they call him out there at the Bay. Lamont Wade is the autograph. You get one auto per box. So you'll probably see this design um, a lot. Baseball star autograph, Lamont Wade. I don't know if I would consider him a star, but still, he's, I guess, considered a veteran now. We've got Joe Musgrove, Key Brian Hayes, 88 tops. And you'll see the 88 tops will have that 88 tops signature back. Man, Key Brian Hayes needs to get something going. 500 plus at bats, only seven home runs, 244 batting average. I will tell you that I have been very disappointed with him offensively. He's not done anything at the dish. He's another, another animal, though, out there on the field. He is an absolute beast. Probably one of the best fielding infielders in all the games. Going to win a lot of gold gloves. And here is the number one rookie in some people's opinion the jury's still out i think maybe i'll put a poll up today who's the number one rookie card is it henderson is it harris or is it adley rushman so that might be interesting gunner henderson number one on the mlb pipeline list i think last year at this time wander franco occupied that top spot and you've seen how that changed wander franco was number one everybody was all about wander for april and may and then Things kind of switched up, and then J-Rod took over and carried that crown the rest of the way. He was the uh, number one sought-after rookie, I think, of all of 2022. And look, here he is. He's on the front of 2023 tops. Had a great season, a fantastic showing in the Home Run Derby. Great season, won the Rookie of the Year. Julio Rodriguez. All right, so here we go with our next pack. We will see what we have. We have not seen a relic yet. We may see one here coming up. Let's see. There's Hunter Green. We've got a Jimmy Hurriet foil. There's Yon Duran. And that is not going to be a relic. It's going to be a one-two punch card of Scherzer and Strasburg. I don't know if Strasburg really deserves to be on that card. But I guess if you're looking back to in their prime, yeah, they were a great one-two punch in the 2019 postseason when the Washington Nationals won it all. But really, Strasburg has not pitched hardly at all since that season. So he has been dealing with injuries just nonstop. There's the J-Rod base card. Gets the gold cup if you're new and have no idea what the heck that is or why it's there. That is not a rookie card logo. Some people, when they first get in the hobby, they'll see that gold cup and says rookie cup and they think it's a rookie card. It's not. It's actually... Oftentimes, a second-year card. Now, they can be rookie cards. Like, you will see Michael Harris has a gold cup. But that just goes to the player in each position that had the best rookie season. So, there's three rookie cup outfielders. There'll be a rookie, one one rookie first baseman, and so on and so forth. You'll see Oswald, per Oswald Peraza got... Uh, actually, he didn't get a rookie cup there. That's the rookie card logo that I'm pointing out. I'm sure the Yankees would love for him to get a rookie gold cup. All right, so let's go on to the next pack. We still have plenty to go in this video. We've got to find a relic and our manufactured relic as well. There's Luis Robert. And we go, um, we're going pretty slow. This will probably end up being like a 30-minute video or more. But that's okay. Um, when we do our breaks, we'll be flying through the base because um, we'll be looking for all the hits tonight. 
So time to go nice and slow through these and show you all the different cards and designs and talk more in depth about it. We'll start to see some repeats also as we go through. So I might pick up the pace a little bit. There's Alex Wood upside down. That is going to be a foil. We've got John Berti gold. So already three gold cards. That one's out of 2023. Anthony Rizzo, greatest hits. And Joey Votto, who's, in my opinion, going to be a Hall of Famer. We have our second Nolan Gorman. And it's always fun to sit down with a jumbo box and try to build the entire set from scratch from 1 to 3.30. That's always fun. And I think we've done it the last two years. And we've done it both times with success. We've got Trevor Rogers right there. There's Sam Mole, Jordan Montgomery, Josh Smith. And we're going to wrap this one up with Seth Beer, who was, I don't know, folks, big disappointment for me. Hit 189 with the Diamondbacks last year. And, uh, you know, I always heard his name coming up through the Astros system. A lot of people were big on Seth Beer, but he's another one of those guys that needs to kind of deliver. Jack Sawinski right there started off pretty good. Had a, had a pretty nice season. The average overall ended up being 202, but showed some power with 19 home runs. There's Tatis. Gets a card despite not playing a single game in 2022 in the big leagues. Miguel Vargas, nice one right there for the Dodgers. Anthony Santander, Paul Sewald right there screaming to the heavens. We've got Nolan Jones, and we're getting toward the good stuff. Man, I just love the Jumbos. Future star Cal Rally, hey, he deserves it. That guy had a great season last year. Big power hitter, 27 home runs. I think he had the most home runs of anybody at the catcher position, right? I think he even beat Salvi Perez. Riley Green, rookie card. Man, coming up through the minors, look at those nice stats. Lots of 300-plus seasons, slugging percentages over 500 a lot of the time, and uh, he's going to be a good one. So Riley Green, I would probably put him maybe right outside of the top five rookies because he did kind of deal with some injuries last year, but he is uh, he's one that could really shoot up the charts on that rookie list. You never know, too. Some of these guys can just take off in spring training, and here comes our hit. The Falafa is out of 499. And here is our game used relic, 1988 Topps design. J.D. Martinez with his Red Sox uniform. Of course, he's changed teams. He's on the Dodgers now. Him and Justin Turner effectively swapping spots. But that is a nice one right there. Get used to that 88 Topps design. You're going to see it a lot. Most relics will probably have that. There's O'Neill Cruz. Had a rookie card last year in Series 2. Adley Rushman. There we go. So you see he gets the gold cup for the catcher position. And it's his rookie card. A lot of people were very disappointed that Adley Rushman and Michael Harris were both left off the roster for the Tops update checklist. And look who it is. Right afterwards, Michael Harris. I mean, they played a ton of games. Michael Harris, 114 games. Um, Adley Rushman, 113 games. Both had great seasons. Adley Rushman had a 5.2 war. And Michael Harris also had a 5.2 war. Wins above replacement. Same exact basic output there. Of course, Adley Rushman was in a much tougher league competition wise because he had to go against j-rod and that no one was beating j-rod last year that's for sure but ali rushman had a fantastic season most years he would have won the rookie of the year award in the american league so that's why i, I really can't decide because you have two guys there and harris and rushman who are almost identical in their output and rushman was the number one overall pick in the country though so for me that that holds a little bit of weight but michael harris plays for a bigger market and a better team so there that holds some weight too and then, of course, you have Gunnar Henderson, who's the number one overall rookie coming into this season. There's Brett Beatty, another very nice name. Brett Beatty came up and impressed in just 11 games. Had some dingers there. Brandon Lau, Brendan Rodgers, Key Brian Hayes. There's his regular base. And we're going to get to the good stuff here in just a minute in this pack. All we have left is a manufactured relic, but I'm kind of interested to see what it looks like. Every year it's something a little bit different. Let's see what we have here. This is the good stuff. We've got a gold foil of Shane McClanahan. George Brett, all-time great Hall of Fame right there. 2020-20 club. Never hear anyone talking about that. 2020-20. 20 doubles, 20 triples, and 20 home runs. Man, that is an exclusive club. When's the last time anyone's joined that? You don't see guys hitting 20 triples anymore. Aaron Judge, man, let's just take a look and let's appreciate the back of this card and look at that 62 home run season right there. Oh, yes. Look at that red ink. What a season for Judge. 10.6 war, won the American League most valuable player. Heck, if it wasn't for Judge going off, Otani would have taken it. There's Stephen Kwan with their rookie cup. He had a rookie in update last year. Great season for him. And we're going to wrap this pack up and get into the 
last two packs and hopefully find our relic. It'll be one of these. We got the silver packs. We've got the hobby for you as well. We've got it all for you in this video. We'll just put it all in one. And then I hope that I can see all of you in the live stream tonight. We'll be live for hours. I'm going to try to get tonight's live stream started around 5 p.m. or just a little bit afterwards. i got to go pick up some more cases. All together, I think I have, folks, like 50 cases that I've purchased. It's a ton. I'm going to be loading you all up with 2023 on Patreon. So get ready. We are going to go 2023 tops overload in the Patreon packages this month. All right, so here we go. It's a City Connect card right there. All right, so commemorative Connect patch. I don't know if I like it all that much. I guess kind of cool. I'll probably get tired of it real fast, but that is the manufacturer patch for Ricky. We got the ace card. First time seeing one of those. Ronald Acuna Jr., 1988 tops design. So the only thing left now is to open that last pack, pack number 10, and see if we can get some sort of low-numbered parallel out of there. We shall see in a second. Then we'll rip open those silver packs, then we'll move on to the hobby. And, folks, I have all the odds written down for the hobby packs as well, comparing them to the last year. I'll tell you what, I like to give my grades on products. A lot of times I feel like I'm in the C range, giving products Cs, sometimes Ds. I got to say, I got to give this an A. I love the design. The price point is really nice. I think last year we were paying, I think, 250 a jumbo at one point. They came down a little bit. But you can get jumbos now. Most places have them for around 170 And if you have a hobby store or a hobby shop nearby, there's Bobby Witt that got them on the pre-sale price from Tops. I'll tell you what, these um, I saw some info, some stats. These hobby store owners get these jumbo boxes for, you wouldn't believe, like 110 a box or something like that. So... You may be able to find them at some hobby stores for like 130 140 which would be crazy awesome if they sell them for you at that price. But when these boxes are going for 170 plus on eBay, that might not happen anymore. There's Los Angeles Dodgers. It is a gold card, our fourth gold card of the video, and that's going to be the last numbered card. Here's the rest of the goodies in the jumbo pack. There's Jordan Alvarez, who had a fantastic season, runner-up to judge. And he was hurt, too. He missed like 25 games, 27 games, I think. He was a great, great power thread. If, he, if not for the injury, he would have had 40-plus home runs. And we're going to wrap up this jumbo box with the silver packs. All right, are you ready? So remember the silver packs? They always correlate to the 35 years of Topps anniversary card. So this year will be the 88 Topps design with the silver pack mojo. And there it is. Mike Trout leads it off. Very, very nice right there. And, folks, I will work on. I have a ton of cases I'm going to be breaking them all open, and I'm going to be sending so many hobby packs out to you guys on Patreon. So I will be busting case after case after case, and I will be accumulating these silver packs as fast as I can in my personal cases that I'm sending out to you guys. And I will do a 100-pack silver pack opening soon, as soon as I can. Hey, I like that. Bo Jackson, that's actually the original picture, isn't it, of his 88 Tops card? I'm pretty sure it is. I want to say that that is. That Aussie Smith looks very familiar, too not numbered on either of those so let's check the other one right here last one for ricky all right so you got bo bichette right there man these are gorgeous nick prado christopher morell it's his rookie card and we've got brian bayo with his rookie logo some of these guys you might see in series two um, sometimes they like to get their rookies in those mojo packs so man ricky you've got a large stack of cards right here there's a shadow being cast over your name. So I'm going to move some of these into the 5,000 count box and get them ready to be shipped. I'll ship them out to you ASAP. It's going to be a pretty, pretty busy day around here tomorrow. And then for the next, probably, I don't even know, two weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take me to ship out everything. I will do my best to get it shipped to you as soon as possible. I've already hired one person to help with the sorting. And um, we'll see if I can it'd be nice to hire another one just to move things along. But we shall see. So we're going to move on from Ricky. Thank you very much, Ricky, for your participation. Got your large, most of your base out of the way and in the box. So now we're going to go into the jumbo. Go into jumbo mode right here. All right, so the hobby box is around 170 Now that price fluctuates depending on where you buy it at. Uh, I think it might be 179 on Steel City Collectibles. You might go to a hobby store and get it for 150 I don't know. Just, let's just use 170 as a base, like average. Now, hobby boxes... Probably around $90 is what you're going to pay on this. I don't know what Topps is going to list these for. Topps does not sell jumbo boxes 
online. They will sell these online. They'll probably go on sale sometime tomorrow on their website. And I'm guessing they'll be about 90 bucks. So, again, I'm filming this Tuesday, so I'm not sure. I, I say tomorrow, but I mean today because I'm going to upload this Wednesday morning. But here we go. This is the Hobby Box. Let's. Uh, there's no odds on the box. They're on the pack wrappers. So let's get this bad boy ripped open for our next sponsor, our next patron over here, Mitchell Phillips. Thank you very much, Mitchell. I really appreciate that. So a little tour around the box, 24 packs. Once again, let's go ahead and rip it and see what we can do for Mr. Mitchell Phillips. Good luck. Once again, a silver pack will be waiting for us. No box toppers on these. You've got to go for the jumbo option to find those box toppers of the uh, 86 tops mini liters. But let's take a look at the odds here. All right. Now, last year in hobby, 1 in 38 was your chance at a gold card. Let's take a look at these. First time, let's talk. Let's talk numbers here, folks. Let's zoom in so you can see. Gold, 1. Is that say. 33 or 53? I can't really tell. It's how I think it says 33. One in 33, it looks like. So a little bit better. Green Rainbow last year was one in one in 100 and it looks like one in 153. This year, one in maybe 135. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Well, all right. Thanks, phone. So uh, much better, 1 in 135, so a little bit better odds. Orange last year was 1 in 257, this year 1 in 227. Vintage stock last year was 1 in 789, this year 1 in 696. Um, Mother's Day was 1 in 1519. You can see that um, now it's 1 in 1340. So the odds are a little bit better than last year. Here's all the information. I don't know how well you can see that. Kind of weird that the... the uh, the phone is very, very smart. That's why they call them smartphones. Just switched over on me and got it all nice and clear. But now, let's go ahead and rip these open. So, I'll tell you what. The odds improved slightly for the hobby boxes, but it is just otherworldly for the jumbos. They loaded the jumbos. That's what I. That's my takeaway here, folks. They've taken a lot of the parallels out of retail, at least the, the hanger boxes. I haven't seen the blaster boxes yet. I hope to find those this weekend. But jumbos are, are where it's at. And I think that once everyone realizes that, those jumbo boxes are going to skyrocket in value. We'll see. We'll see if they get to over 200 a box. Um, I predict they will. But we'll, we'll have to just wait and see just because of those odds. So here we go. Hobby pack with 14 cards. You'll get maybe an insert every other pack or so. We've already seen most of these cards. We'll go a little more briskly through these. And we'll check out the little hobby exclusive pack right there as well there's camilo doval now you know what we've already seen every base card already the nice thing about doing a jumbo box is pretty much most of the time now every now and then they might miss a card there's anthony santander that's gonna be a gold card probably only one since it's one in every 33 packs but every now and then they might you might come up two or three cards short but usually you get every card out of a jumbo box we've already seen all these cards already which is why we'll go a little more quickly and just look for the hit I just wanted to talk a little bit about the odds for you. Now, we'll see some cards like these inserts may be new, like the Bias. We haven't seen that one yet. 88 Tops Design. That'd be cool. You know what? One of these days, I'm going to have to put together that complete 35-year uh, anniversary set, like all the cards. I think there's 100 of them. That'd be kind of cool to have that in a binder. And, they, hey, we've got the hit. It is going to be a Freddy Tarnock who... I don't know who that is. Sorry. Probably had a cup of coffee in the big leagues last year. You can see it's a sticker auto. That's actually pretty good because most times you will find a relic. Now, I'm not sure. We'll find out tomorrow when I open a bunch of hobby boxes. I have primarily jumbo boxes I'll be opening. I think there's like maybe like 12 rounds of jumbo and maybe six of hobby. But So we're opening a lot more jumbo. But I think after we open six rounds of hobby, which is like 30 boxes, we'll have a pretty good idea of how many autographs usually fall in a hobby box at least what the odds are what i found in the past is it's typically about one in every four or one one every three and a half maybe but you may open a whole case if you get four autos in a case you did a good job all right next pack up for mitchell let's see what we can find here in this next one and since we've got the hit we'll go a little more quickly there's bobby witt jr we've already seen that one that's a kind of a cold pack there nothing but base so it's still out there, yet to be um, you know, featured on the channel. we got blaster boxes. We'll see if I can get a hold of some of those. I'm expecting to find some on Friday out in the wild. There's Jackie Robinson. 
It's a nice one. Jackie Robinson, we should look at that one just a little bit longer. Also, Fat Packs will be back this year. I did order a few cases of Fat Packs. I have that $99 tier that I do on Patreon. And every one of those $99 tier gets two blaster boxes, six hobby packs, and a fat pack. So I ordered a few cases of fat packs as well. I don't know when they'll be in. Sometimes some stuff comes out before the others when with the retail. Last year, everything seemed to be very delayed on the retail front. Sometimes took them a long time to get their stuff together. But here we go with this next pack up. There's Shohei Otani right there. Already saw that one. We saw that one in the last box, and it was an icy. There's Gunnar Henderson's rookie card. So there's J-Rod. Did we not see J-Rod in the last box? We may not have. Um, I've seen this card already in the hanger boxes, but you can see he had a six war last year. Just an absolute beast of a player. 28 home runs in 132 games because he did spend some time injured. Gold Cup J-Rod, awesome card right there. There's Acuna Jr. who's looking for a bounce-back season. He was, you know, really blew out his knee 2021, in the summer of 2021, and it's taken a while to get back. Hopefully that thing's all healed up. He's on his way to becoming maybe a perennial 40-40 threat. Hey, here's a pirate hit right here. Leo Piguero, who's a nice prospect for us. It's his rookie card. You know, he has taken a couple steps back. Not the greatest production last year in Altoona. He hit 259, but man, when he was coming up, I remember his name a lot. It looks like he hit 364 in 2019 in A ball, but you know, we'll see. It's always interesting to see how players develop. They all develop at different rates. Sometimes some players take two steps back, and another player takes a couple steps forward. Again, like the Pirate system, that Andy Rodriguez really step up out of nowhere. I'd love to see him make the team. There's Seiya Suzuki. I was actually looking today, maybe, maybe buying opening day tickets to go see the Pirates. I would like to be there to see Andrew McCutcheon come back and see the welcome because it is going to be thunderous. It might be the closest thing that, you know, I have seen since, uh, you know, in terms of fan reaction and just overall love since the 2013 wild card game. It's going to be an amazing time. I think that's April 7th at PNC Park. It's a Friday it's after work and everything. The game doesn't start till 4, 12 p.m. So it's it's almost like it was tailored so that I could go to it. All right, Mitchell, here we go with this next pack up. Again, since we already have the hit, we'll just see what we've got in terms of the inserts. Alec Manoa ace card. There's Michael Harris with that gold cup. Michael Harris. Does anyone else hate it when you get a nice rookie and it's a landscape card? I know some people definitely don't like that. I remember people griping about Fernando Tatis Jr.'s card being a horizontal card for his first rookie. Speaking of Tatis, look who comes out right there. Very nice. we got a parallel coming up, maybe. Is this going to be? Yes, it is. How about that? An Independence Day. Jordan Lyles out of 76. It's a pretty tough pull right there. Probably, I would guess, one in maybe about, I don't know, folks, 1,000 packs? One in a 1,000 pull? One in 76. I think that may be, unfortunately, it's Jordan Lyles. Can you imagine if that was Adley Rushman? We'd have, man, a super valuable card. Or Gunnar Henderson. I'm just curious. The Independence Day, and every year the size gets smaller on this font. It looks like it's 1 in 862. I don't know if they're adding parallels or what. But man, that size font is it's got to be like a size three or four font all right here we go to the next one there's brett Beatty once again got you darvish in there as well mark appel there's vogie dan vogelbach and zach thompson who i think just got dfa not too long ago by the buckos all right here we go with this next pack and we've got a mike trout Home run challenge card. Pretty nice right there. That's a good one to get because Trout does homer pretty often. Might hit 40 home runs, so you have about a one in four chance of getting one of his cards. All right, let's go ahead and do a good old super rip here to end this one off because we're already about 35 minutes in. I'll rip all of these because I want to get to that sore pack. I'd love to get this video done in less than 40 minutes. I was thinking about doing this in two separate videos, but... You know what? Let's just give you all the information at once. So for those of you that are still with me here 35 minutes into the video, I really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much for watching. And 2023 Top Series 1, I'll probably put a poll out and maybe two polls today. What do you think of this product? How would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 after, or maybe just A, I'd probably do, they only give me four options at a poll. Maybe A, A to A+, plus, maybe B, B to B-, minus to B+. Plus. 
C, maybe just A, B, C, or D, because there's no way. Unless uh, you just hate baseball and baseball cards, there's no way you can give this an F. I don't think so. I just, I mean, you might hate the print runs on some of the, like, retail and stuff like that, but, they, hey, they made it up with the, uh, with the jumbo boxes. You don't like the print runs? They said fine. You don't like the print runs? Go buy a jumbo box. We got you. I think this is a, uh, this is a great product. I'm giving this an A. There's Salvador Perez. I'd also like to hear who the best rookie card is from 2023 because I cannot make up my mind between those three. I know some of you Mets fans out there are saying Brett Beatty and some of you Cardinals fans are saying Nolan Gorman. Those guys are great. I agree. But I think um, I think it's got to be one of those three guys that I just mentioned. There's Cedric Mullins. It is a silver foil card. We're getting down towards the end of it now, folks. Reese Hoskins, it's almost silver pack time. we got another stack of maybe about 50 or so cards here. Another insert, it's going to be Willie Mays. Hey, he was a 20-20-20 club guy, 20 doubles, 20 triples, and also 20 homers. No one ever talks about that. You always hear about the 30-30 or 40-40 club for 30 home runs and 30 steals or 40 homers and 40 steals. Canseco, the first guy to do that, that was a huge deal back in the late 80s. I still remember it. What was that, a scorecard, 89 score, 40-40 club, Canseco? Yep, big deal. It doesn't happen all that often. We'll see if stolen bases tick up this year. They've made some changes to the game. They've made the base paths a little bit shorter by making the bases larger. So each player is going to be a few inches closer to the next base. We'll see if that encourages a little more stealing. And we get down to about our last pack. you got the Cy Young Award winner right there in Sandy Alcantara. Nolan Gorman rookie card one more time for those Cardinals fans out there. And we're going to wrap this one up. The last card of this preview video, it's a leader's card with Kyle Tucker, Judge, and... Also, Jose Ramirez on there. Silver pack time to play us out. Let's see what we've got here. We'll see if we can find an auto. Usually, on average, and it differs from release to release, but it's about 1 in 20 from the past three or four years for an autograph in here. I don't know if we're going to have one in this one. Bo Jackson again, Ozzy Smith again, and Bo Bichette. So I think we actually had all four of these in the last um, jumbo pack, silver packs. But there you have it, folks. 2023 Tops Series 1. Man, Jumbo is where it's at with this product. Yeah, the print runs, they may be up overall, maybe. It's tough to tell because they kind of changed the whole configuration. But if you're going to buy one of these, I would recommend you buy the Jumbos because you're going to get the most bang for your buck. You'll get a guaranteed autograph. And you have a much better chance at pulling those numbered cards. But that's just me. That's just what I would do. You can do whatever you want. If you like retail and getting those base cards, and you know, you're going to pay less too. Um, and you like putting sets together, then go that way. But... Uh, you know, that's 2023 Top Series 1 in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you join me tonight for our live stream. Again, we'll get started around 5 p.m. Eastern time, and we've got a lot to break. So, you know, tune in for the long haul, and we'll see what we can find. Folks, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic Wednesday, and I'll see you tonight in the live stream. Good night, everybody.